There we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Or to be more realistic, gentlemen. Because according to YouTube analytics, 99.5% of you out there are men. <laughs> oh well. But good evening, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful evening. So, um, today's stream, as you can probably guess, has uh, been changed a lot <laughs> since uh, and to the half percent ladies out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I kid you not. I mean, I can just double check it. Maybe it's changed, but last time I checked, it was like 99.5 percent. <laughs> it was a, a bit off. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go here and see channel analytics. Give me analytics, give me audience analytics. Yes, let's just take um, this year. Let's do audio and audio. So let me see, is there anything here that is... Oh, it, oh, oh, it's gotten a little better. Look at this. I think I can show this, yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, look at this. We're down to 98.4% male. <laughs> wow. We still have 50, more than 50% not subscribed. But yeah. <laughs> Down to, yeah, it's down to. I'm just compared to 2021. Uh, yeah, 99%. Okay, anyway. Not here to talk about YouTube analytics. We are here to talk about the new Verpool Constellation Alpha Prime stick that they came out with recently as well as their new, what's the full name of these? CM3 base? Is it just called the Verpal CM3 base? Is, the, is it also in the in, in the Constellation series? I'm the I have, I have very good content creator. Know the product you're actually about to showcase. Um, it, yeah, okay, so this is the Mongoose, this is getting confusing. So it's the, the Mongoose T50 CM3 base, not to be confused with the Mongoose T50 CM3 throttle. Because the throttle is just... I can just take you guys with me here. So, here's the base. CM3 base, we have that there, but if you go and look at the throttles, their throttle is just called the Mongoose T50 CM3. Oh, it's actually called the throttle, okay. But these have nothing, like, they don't, like, yeah, okay, I don't know. It's confusing if you ask me. <laughs> but anyway, so my plan was originally to go and play Elite or Star Citizen or something today. Um, but then I began tearing down my, my flight setup and putting up the new joysticks with the new bases. And I couldn't get it done in the time for the live stream, so, so I originally I thought, hey, I'm gonna do and play some Astro Nier or something instead. And, and I wrote it out to, uh, to to the live stream moderators beforehand and said, hey guys, I'm gonna be live streaming probably Astro Nier because I'm not gonna be able to get this done. And then, <laughs> then Dunkle and also uh, Pestrol both said, no, live stream you by making a setup of, of these. Dunkle, he's gotta be... Um, now would be a good time to insert at no. No, it wouldn't, YouTube. We just started. Shut up, you stupid YouTube. Bad YouTube. <laughs> what the hell? Now would be a good time to insert an ad. Okay, we can insert an ad. I would like to showcase my new mark on the merch store. The caustic content mark. Look at that. Get it up nice and close. In the camera. There we go. <laughs> There you go. Now YouTube is happy. You can get the mock at d2astore.com if you're interested, together with all the news, other stuff that's over there, both t-shirts and also the desk mats. Still waiting for mine. Really looking forward to when that should arrive. Anyway, plan for today is we're going to be setting these up and just so you know, like we just actually show you. Um, as, as you can probably imagine, I decided to do this like half an hour ago. So this live stream is going to be very impromptu. Very much, nice, that's almost a shout out. Very much, um, uh, 
Was that an asp? No, that's a viper. Viper getting getting costed by 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 by, by acid or, or, or thargoid tears. And then there's a little thargoid with an exclamation mark down there. There we go. Yes, viper. Viper. Cobra. Meow. Little combat cobra. Okay, that's. Uh, let me just show you guys this. Uh, this is getting out of hand. As I said, I'm really sorry. This is gonna. This place. This, this live stream is gonna be all over the place. Um, and just get the app so that you guys can see. So get this out of this casing so you can actually hold this a little easier. Um, so you guys can actually see what is going on here. Is this the right way? Yeah. Okay. So. Here we have the new Constellation Prime left-handed stick mounted on a set extension and that is on the new Verpol um, CM3 base as you can see here. There are some, some new like mounting points here, here, and there's a little screw hole there. Can you see that? I'll turn that one away so you can see it a little easier. There with a little bar. There's a similar one down here. See those? Those are new and I'll show you what those do in a minute. So there we have it, left side stick, right side stick, same as before, that, very nice, and of course as always they have twists back and forth, I should probably say, actually before we go, go any further here, I should probably say, these things here was sent to me by Verpal and they were sent to me with the purpose of doing a review. So there is going to be dedicated reviews out of both the, um, the Verpal um, sticks, like the Constellation Alpha Primes. Um, and also the base. So there's going to be two reviews out and they did send it to me with the purpose of doing this. Um, we didn't talk about doing this live stream, as I said, this is very impromptu. Um, yeah, but let me just give you a quick overview of, of the stick. So if you're familiar with the Constellation Alpha, the layout will be the same. Some of the buttons have changed their, um, um, have changed their position, or not position, their color, sorry. Exactly the same position. You will notice that the textures on the hats have, have changed slightly, um, but the bottoms are the same as before. They sound a little different. I don't know if the microphone picks this up at all. But it sounds a little different, but that's because this entire chassis, everything here on the joystick is, is metal. And I think it's, I don't know, probably like cast aluminium or something. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's metal. That little thing there is metal. This whole plate here is metal. Um, and, and that makes this, the button sound a little different, and it makes the joystick feel a lot more... And you can feel that coldness when you, when you hold it, it makes it feel a lot more sturdy somehow. I don't know if that's due to the base of the joystick, but yeah. All metal construction now. Um, and of course it still has twists, you can lock the twist axis with that little Allen key in there. If you want to lock it, you can do that. Hideable like hand rest here, hideable adjustable hand rest. You can adjust that by turning these two down here. Yeah. Um, what else do we have over here on this side? Two-way hat with click. These are both four-way hats. These and these are four ways with clicks, click buttons. Analog thumbstick with click. Four-way hat down here. One, two, three, four-way with click. And on the back here we have a pinky switch. And we have an analog um, brake lever here. Uh, I don't know if the screen is burning, but maybe it's my camera. There we go. Um, up here you have a two-stage trigger. So you can push it in like that, just slightly push it in, and you will have the first trigger. Or you can bottom it out and you have the second stage. So it's one, two, just like the, ca the, the bottom on the top, like on, on a camera here where you have first stage, second stage. So like focus and then take the picture. Same thing here, first stage, second stage. Then you have this flip switch out here. That is a state that you can, you can, you can uh, 
you can have this stage here is detectable as well, so this will actually count as a button. And you can of course pull that trigger in. So that means you have basically a four stage trigger. You have it out there, you have that position, you have that pulled in, that pulled in, and then pulled all the way in. So this now works with a three, three stage. One, two, three. Okay, that's the layout of the joystick. What number did I get? 505 and what is this one? Where is it? It's on the other side, isn't it? Can I get the camera in there so I can see it? Come on, camera. 470. Nice. Okay. So that's the layout. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot to show you. Compared to the um, compared to the uh, to the to the non -pr uh, prime version, this is now a two zone LED. On the prime is a one zone LED, and of course on here on the side of the stick it also has light. So you can see that there. Probably shows up better over here where we have it in the vertical mode. Shows up there on the side. There's light, and this is also two zones it seems, and this one up here I think is also two zones. We'll see when we actually get it into the software in a second. Okay, that is that. Can the LEDs change color? Yes, they can. I'm going to show you the whole setup now. Um, but what I want to do first is, I'm just going to take, take you guys with me. As I said, very, very impromptu stream. Is it possible to put the angled mount on the left uh, hand side, or does it only angle uh, over for the? So you can put you can put it on the right hand side. Um, then you will just basically you will just basically take the the angle bracket and just flip it 180, and it will work on the other side. You will have the screw holes where it, that that holds it together, facing you. But that's only a cosmetic thing. If you don't mind that, um, personally, I wouldn't mind it. But because I never really, you can't really see it much when you play. Um, you know what? I forgot to show you another thing. I have to show you this. Because this is probably the coolest thing with the base. I, I forgot to show you about the, uh, the, little, uh, the little screw holes. Okay, let's jump back in here again. Let me show you what it does. Okay, so here, these two here, those ones there, if we pull those out, we can, if I, <laughs> if I put it in a way I'll get to it, you can see we have some bigger screws down there. Those are pretensioners. So there's a pretensioner for both axes, one there and one there. This one here, you can see if I move the stick, you can see how it, it moves up and down. That's the pretensioner in work. So what the pretensioner does is it basically just tells the uh, or adjusts how heavy the stick feels. So if you put a lot of pretension on it, it's gonna feel very heavy to move from side to side. And if you put very little pretension on here, as I have, it's very easy to move from side to side, right? So that's that. That's the pretension. That's how heavy it is to move. Those there is the coolest thing on this base. Those there are what's called dampeners. Now on my side to side axis here, I have the dampener fully disengaged. And that means when I have to let go, that thing goes into the center. It actually bounces back and forth a little bit, so maybe I should add a little bit of dampening to it. But you can see that goes back there, it goes like this. But look at this, I'm just gonna <laughs> get this with my other hand. I have the dampener, you can adjust them of course with the screw, but I have the dampener set very, very heavy on the forward axis. And this means now, if I push the stick forward, it stays. And that means I can also pull this back and it stays. I have a center notch so I can feel where the center is. Center is right there. But this means that now with a whole SAS setup, I can still have the benefit that you lose with a, th like the, the reason why some people don't like whole SAS is because you have to constantly push, um, push the throttle forward, but no more. Now you can just set the dampener so hard that it holds the stick in place and this essentially now functions like a normal throttle. You can pull back and forth and it stays in position and you still have the side to side movement and, you still, and it will stay in that position. That is 
really cool because that's one of the reasons that a lot of people don't like HOSAS. That's because of that, uh, the fact that you have to, to, uh, to, to hold it back. I did a whole video on this where I discussed the benefits and drawbacks of playing HOSAS over HOSAS. Because you do have better control with a HOSAS setup, especially if you're playing fighters. You there's no denying that. You have more control over your ship with a double dual stick setup when you're playing spaceships, that is. But you lose by playing the usually you would lose when playing HOSAS with double stick or dual sticks, you lose that fact that you can just push your throttle forward and then not worry about it. Um, and I've gone around this with using like uh, cruise control in Star Citizen and having the preset speeds in Elite with you have like the 75 and all those speeds preset at 100% so you, so you could basically use it like that. But now you can just set your speed where you need it and it will stay there. So you have the best of both worlds and that is super cool. Okay, let's jump over here and um, let's just get the virtual tool up. Because I think the version of the verbal tool that I have is probably too old. See, so you can see them here, but it also says here version, if I can make this window bigger. No, it says version not supported. Um, and that's because I am running on the 2010 no, sorry, 2000, uh, 2021.10.02 version, which is probably going to be too old to support this new base. So we probably have to go in and get, yeah, look at that. There's one from 2022.07.20 is the newest one they have. So let's go ahead and um, let's get that. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go and uh, and install that, and then, let me see here, just going to see what it actually extracts. Oh, okay, it just extracts an exit file, fair enough. I just, if I had to move stuff around, there we go. Oh, did I close down, maybe I should close down this software first, that's probably a good idea. Uh, create desktop, create desktop shortcut, no, 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 no. Pro mode, yes, please. Verbal device, USB filter. Click if you have conflicts with third-party USB devices. So the software is, no, we don't have that. Okay. Well, that was quick. Okay, so you can see we have the control panel. Warning, outdated firmware. Please update firmware before continuing. Ugh, we don't want to do that. Right right now. I don't want to mess with my panels, but we have two CM3 throttles here. Now, I don't know which one is which, but let's just check this top one here. Um, <laughs> is it this one over here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just looking at which one you can see here, value 0%, 50%, 100. So this one looks like, and that's the throttle. See, that's inverted. It says 0% now, so that's the wrong way. And that should be 0%. So this one is the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is... Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, how to case says... Um, what's the base name? The base name is the... Um, Verpool Mongoose T50-50 CM3 base. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna update my panels. My panels work just fine with the firmware that's on them. So I'm not gonna flash the firmware on the panels, but I am gonna flash the firmware on these um these over here. So we're gonna basically we have selected that th thing there. Um and we are going to start an audio update and we're gonna click OK for that. And then we're just going to make sure that the, even though the base probably has the latest firmware, um, we are just going to make absolutely sure that it has the latest firmware on it before we begin to do anything. Okay. 
VPC no profile, nice. Wait for it. It's gonna come back again. There it is. Okay. So now we can see that is the CM3, and it also says that it has a constellation alpha prime right on it. That's not correct. It has a constellation left on it. Yes. And we have no additional panels. So the reason why we can add panels is because this one here does have, uh, if I show you, where did I put my phone? There we go. Um, how much does this cost? Oh, way too much. <laughs> no, it's expensive, I will say so. Um, but it's also some of the best flight gear on the market. Um, so if I just take you guys over here, there. So one of the new things is, first of all, compared to something like the Warbird base, it has a detachable cable, but it now also has the USB, whoops, come on, camera. It now also has the USB and the AUX port, as you might have been used to from, uh, from like the CM3 series. And that means that you can daisy chain it into a, an, another panel. So, so that's why it allows me to, um, there we go, go away. That's why it allows me to go and, um, and basically select an extra panel, uh, rudder panels or what are the, the control panels, if you want to daisy chain it. But just keep in mind that 32 buttons is still the limit for, uh, for Elite Dangerous. So we're gonna make this profile, USB name, We are going to call this We are going to call this VPC CM3 Mongoose T50 CM3 Prime L for left side stick and Create the profile. Wait for it. Warning. Several identical configuration versus devices cannot be connected. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to try to unplug the other stick then, in the meantime. See if that helps. Hmm, that's odd. It didn't update the, um... It didn't update the, the profile then. CM350 Prime... L. Reset Windows name slash calibrate calibration. Why, why you know? Yeah, I know the firmware doesn't work, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna click that. I really like to be able to change the device name. Yeah, we're probably gonna try it just for good measures. I think that's a good idea to just unplug the two panels as well. Okay. Panels are unplugged. We now only have the one stick in here. Left, there, prime L.
Der se. It did it again. It resets the name. Yeah, don't worry guys if you have USB noises all over the place, that's me, okay? Just because I've, every time I update the profile... Okay, at least it got the name now that says LVPC Stick CM3. I guess we'll have to live with that. Okay. Oh, hello, how many, how many color profiles? Uh, extra grip port and colors, hold on. I'm just going to try to make one of them, like, green. Save to device. And now we're going to get noises again. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, Verpool. All the RGB, no kidding. Let me show you guys. So, I set one of them green just to see what happens. And that one there changed, that one LED. So that means that this is probably one, two, how many are there? How many zones did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine zones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, okay. I think that these over here is basically like one, two, three, four, five. And then on the head, it has one, two, three, four. So five on the side here, each individual addressable, and then four for each of the corners on the head. That is, that's pretty cool. What are we gonna do with colors? I kind of feel like going all green. I know it's silly when you have this many color zones. Maybe just see if there's two two blues. There's, I want to like the, maybe the back of it to be blue. The front is green. The back of back is blue. I don't know. More and more and more sounds. Okay, got it the other way around. That's kind of cool too, to be honest. So that means this one should be blue. This one should be blue. This one should be green. This one should be green. Save to device. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Is that it now? Yeah, look at that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a lot of, lot of time with my phone today. This is gonna be interesting. And uh, look at that. So the side here is now all green down the side. The top here is green on the front, and then it, it fades over into blue on the back. Ooh. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like green and blue. Best colors. Okay, but now for all the actual, like, important stuff. Let's just do a... Input direct viewer? No, that's not it. Uh, DJ tester, is that it? Yes, this one. So we're just gonna make basically make sure everything... No, let's do a calibration first. First, we're gonna calibrate it. 
So we're gonna go axis, calibrate axis, and we're just gonna move all the axes to the extreme points. So they can see there now the number two axis that I've moved that. So that's my um, that's my throttle. Now we're gonna do the thumbstick, and they're gonna fall nicely in line there in the middle. And there is the up and down axis. Is that two axes? The slider. It's probably that axis too. Oh well. We're not gonna need the slider. We can see the the slider has lower precision than the actual set axis. Okay. Save calibration to profile. And now we're gonna get USB sounds again. Now, one of the things that I noticed here is, let me just check the y-axis, that's a, an x-axis, that's a hundred, and that's zero. And that should be, yeah, okay, so my z-axis is, I don't know if that's the right way. So if I turn down, it's a hundred, it's 100%. I think I need to try and flip the z-axis. Is this it? Inversion falls. Oh, okay. Um, what's the inversion settings? This should be in here. Inversion, inversion, inversion. Axis source, smoothing times four, output values, with center, center align, axis button, nope, curve, disabled, we'll enable that in a bit. I don't get that. There was an inversion here. Color indexable to throttle percent. Um, yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with the colors. Oh, inversion. There it is. Wa bam. Save. So that means now if I move it down. It's a hundred percent and up is zero. That makes more sense to me. Yeah. And we have the same thing with the throttle. When I move the throttle all the way forward, it is zero percent and all the way back is a hundred percent. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna remove the inversion there. So now if I move the throttle forward. That did not work at all. Oh, they need to save it to the device, maybe? Is that it? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. But look at those axes. They stopped working after I removed the inversion. Now my throttle axis is not working at all. Oops. 
see now. Save that to the device again. Now it's working. That is weird. Hold on, let's just try to do calibrate axes again. Move it through all the different axes. Where's the thumbstick? I'm gonna take that slider and disable that. Can I do anything in here? Nope, there's no inversion settings in here. This could be a three hour stream. It could very well be, yes. Why is the throttle inverted? Because if I remove that... And I say save... It still does the same. What happens if I then save that again? to the profile, then it stops working, right? So the y-axis is now, when it comes back, there is now non-functional. Yeah, that axis is now non-functional. What if I calibrate them again? Ah, so we just need, okay. Hold on, I need to tighten this a little bit. that slider and then save that calibration there we go okay so now this should work let's see when it comes back so move it up to a hundred percent we got a hundred move it down we got zero okay very nice all axes All axes seems to be working now. Um, no, we haven't set a light goal. We should probably do that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How many people are we today? Probably a little bit. Uh, 71 on YouTube. What do you guys think? 100? Hmm. Yeah, let's do 100. Let's do that. So we're just looking at the LED modes here. Um, so we have buttons up to 22, uh, 32. Hold on, let's just do the quick tester here. So, just to verify... Why is this not... Oh, do I need to click that? Oh, I need to click that. Yeah, so now we can... You can see all the axes here as they're moving around. We can get a graph of how they are, like, basically performing. 
Um, but what I wanted to see was basically just... Oh, right, that's an analog stick. See, we can find all the buttons on this. So these are both states. Yeah. Uh, which one have I forgotten? This one. Yeah, and the pinky. I've forgotten some, a button somewhere. There's too many buttons on this. That's that one. That's that one, that one. Oh, there's one I forgot. There's also... Oh, we forgot to calibrate that axis, didn't we? Okay, hold on. Is that not an axis? I forgot an axis. There we go, that's the slider, that's the, the space break, hold on. Full forward, full backwards, up, down, side to side. The thumbstick, move that in circles, use that slider there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, there we go, I knew I forgot something. Okay, so I forgot the little space break, the pinky space break here. That's the slider. Let's just check this is still working when it comes back. Hundred, zero, perfect. And we have the slider now also going from zero to hundred. Okay, perfect. Now what we can do here, what I wanted to try was actually go into the throttle axis here. Um, and axis to button. What does access to button do? If we do this and save it, I think this will help us. Yeah, we're talking about the color indexing now. So what I'm trying to do now is to basically make the throttle press. Aha, so can you see down here now? You can see, if you look at it here, you can see right now, button number one is pressed, number two is pressed, three is pressed, and now all I'm doing now is moving my throttle up. So as I'm moving my throttle up, it pushes different buttons, right? Like so. And what we can do now, so that means we have 33, which is zero or is less than 20% throttle. Now we have 20 to, uh, 21 to 40, 41 to 60. 60, 1 to 80, and 81 to 100. And those buttons is all they do. What we can then do now is we can jump in here to the, actually here to the buttons, and then we can see button number 33 is going to shift. On LED number, uh oh. Uh oh, what LED are these? There is so many options here. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> LED. Extra gear, the extra grip port and color is this called. And we probably need one, two, three, four, and five. So that means we need to go in here and we need to find the extra grip number one. Set that to red. Okay. This probably should just be on, I think. Let's try to save this just to see if it works. What I'm trying to do now is when button 
Oh, not 20, 32, sorry. 33. Oh, wait for it to come back. Let's go back to 32. So, 33. So, what I'm trying to tell it is once button 20, 33 is pressed, you should turn the uh, ex, uh, extra grip LED 1 on red instead of on green. Okay, if this is working now. <laughs> it's, it's working, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, it's working. We just need to set all the other buttons as well, but... Uh, shit, give, give, give. <laughs> Look at this shit. So, well, we're upside down. So now, as I pull my throttle back, that turns red. And then we just need to set the other ones, and that means as this turns forward, we see that it turns green again. Red. Green. Red. Green. And we just push that forward, and that red marker should move up and be green, and then go up higher and higher and higher, else we... Uh, Uh, we just get the camera off again. There we go. Okay, so we just do the same thing. We basically say this one is 34, 35, 36, and 37. On, 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 on. And then we say... Um, extended grip 2 is red. Uh, where is it? Onboard, slave, extended grip, extra grip three is red. And then we have extra grip four is red. And finally, we have that Extra grip five is also red. Okay, let's try to save that and see if it works. Get the get the get the phone ready. I mean, this is pointless because I can't see it when I'm having my hand on the stick, but it's just it's still so cool. And when you just take your hand off the stick, you can obviously see it. Okay. Are we are we back? Oh my god, guys, I think it's working. So here you have it. Upside down again. Great. <laughs> here we have it. It is red. We move it forward. That one goes red. Move forward. That one goes red. That one. And the final one. I'm just going to quickly turn off the lamps here, so you can actually see the little bit. have. All the studio lights running here, so there we go. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? Let me just get some lights back here. There we go. How cool is that? Bit pointless as it's under your grip, isn't it? Yeah, you could argue that. I mean, we could do something else with it if we wanted to. Um. Here's another thing that you guys actually might like a little better. So what if we do something, now we're just playing around with it here. We say button two, 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 and two. And then it goes to extended grip five, six, red, seven, red, eight, red, and nine 
red, and this one is reset. And this one is nothing there. And this one is off. Okay. Can you guys guess what I'm trying to do now? Let's save this profile, see if it works. Yes, <laughs> it's worked. Okay, this is actually maybe a little cooler, but I'll just I'll show you this. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Get the camera app again. I get you guys with me here. And okay, so what I've done now is back here. You remember I have this. I'll show it over here instead, so don't spoil it. Over here, I have this trigger back here. I normally use this one as a trigger, but I have it out there when it's not in use. When I use it, oh. I pull it in like that, and now it's ready to fire. So when I'm, so I don't have an accidental like pull of my trigger. I, I flip that out of the way, and it's kind of safe out there. Then I pull my trigger in when I'm ready to go into combat, and then I can begin to fire. So look at this now. I've done the same thing over here, right? So look what happens when I pull that trigger in, so I'm ready to fire. The threat, the whole thing goes red, and when I pull it back. Ah, do you like that? I like it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So when you go combat mode, like you just have both your like your sticks on both sides just go red. Yeah, exactly. There's no mistaking now. When you are armed, your joysticks go with red. That is actually pretty damn cool. So now you are armed, you're ready to go. And know what we can do too? Um, let me just get my, there's just the, the, I'm closing the camera app all the time because it just eats power. Um, those can be useful. And what we can also do is, uh, because you can see here, when I pull in the trigger, when it's, when it's extended out in the safe position, it's, it presses button one. And when I pull it in, it presses button two. That means we can use those two buttons. We can bind those to, for instance, deploy weapons. So that means when I pull those in, either of those two buttons in, weapon's gonna be deployed, and and then the thing turns red and is like, okay, you're now in combat mode, you're ready to go, you're ready to fight. And when you pull them out again, they go back to that green, bluish color, more like, uh, more casual, not so dangerous. Well, then it goes red when you're in combat. So there's no accidental activations. And because all of this, all of this is happening inside the device, this means if I took this joystick now, unplugged it, and, and moved it to a completely different machine that's never seen this and doesn't even have the verbal software running, it would still work because it's saved on the device itself. And that means that, that there's no like software in the background that needs to run in order to detect this and stuff like that. It's so nice. I think it's super cool. I think it's useful. Okay. That is neat, isn't it? Okay. So I think... I think we're pretty much ready with this joystick. It should be good to go. Um, yeah, settings can save the firmware. Yeah, it's so nice when they do that. <laughs> okay. I think what we need to do now is we need to unplug this joystick and replug the right hand side. Let's see if I can align this up without messing up the little connector. I cannot. It should be like that. There's a little tap so you can you can't plug it in the wrong way. There we go. And now we just need to go through the entire process again with these, the right hand stick. But now that we know what to do, it should be easy. There we go. Firmware. Come on, load in. Yes. Auto update firmware. Yes, I know. Let's go do that. So it doesn't matter which OS or system is plugged into. 
uh, it is the same. Yes, it is saved on the device. That's why we're constantly clicking that green save to VPC device. VPC is their shorthand for Verbal. So, uh, or Verbal controls, I think. Um, so that's why it always says save to device because it's saved on the device, not on your machine. Um, and that means you can run. I mean, I have I have similar LED things going on on my control panels. And as you saw before, when I plugged the control panels in, the software was screaming at me because that I was uh, using an outdated firmware for them. Um, but yeah, that's just the way it is. No, no, dongle. All cables are in uh, are safe. Out of Verbal, so it already figured that out. Figure that out. This is then a right hand stick. Let's go and create that profile. Boom. boom. Hello and welcome. So we're just gonna go through and basically make the same LED setup on this one first. Make all the things up the side of it green. Make the back of it blue. And make the front of it green as well. Wabam. Um, axis. Let's just quickly check the direction of the axis. Uh, I think that one needs to be, yeah, that one needs to be inverted. I had the, it, its inversion moved. Let's see about, that looks about right. That looks about right. That looks about right too. Okay. So now all the axes is flipped in the right direction. So now we can go and do our calibration. So again, I'm just going to move the axe of the, the joystick to all these extreme positions. Do the twist, do the little thumbstick, and do the, the space break or the, the space slider there. Okay, safe calibration to profile. Wait for it to come back. Uh, Chloe says, I thought the HOTAS, HOSAS th uh, thrusters didn't stay put but returned to the center. Yeah, that's new. That's the new bases they sent. That's some of the things I'm reviewing too. Welcome to the Verbal Cult. <laughs> Welcome. I've been here a long time, my friend. I'll I'll just I'll just quickly show you this. I mean, come on, phone. So obviously, oops, upside down. We have the new base, the new throttles. We have the two panels over here. There's a spare. Constellation Alpha stick sitting there. There is the other stick over there behind me over there on the shelf You will see a CM3 throttle and the original Mongoose T50 throttle and on my living room table are my two old Sticks on the Warbird base so old Constellation Alpha sticks. I have a lot of Verbal gear now and actually my plan is to get rid of a lot of the Verbal gear as part of the 100,000 subscriber um, celebration. Well, let me just get the other things. Ah. Ah. I can't hold all these joysticks. See, there's my two old ones. Uh, one of them used to be on a set extension, but I only have one set extension, so I moved that over to the new joysticks. But yeah, two more verbal devices that can go back in the living room because I have no more room in here for, for verbal things. Um, but as I said, the plan is to actually give some of these away when I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
my plan is to take the CM3 throttle over there and then throw in a um, a right-handed stick, maybe without the uh, the desk mount stuff, but just the stick with the uh, with the normal plate, so you could put it on a table, or this plate if you want to mount it yourself. But that would basically give me one whole sass, a whole sass setup with a throttle and a right-handed stick. Then what I of course also have is I have this spare left-handed stick, and what I had over here was a spare right-handed. So I have another pair here for right and a left-handed stick. And that means if I get another base, if I get another, let's say, a Warbird base, or maybe even get a CM3 base or something like that, if I get another base for this one, um, I could potentially also make a HOSAS giveaway. So that means I could have two complete extra Verpal setups that I could give away for the 100,000 subscribers. And I think that's something I want to do. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain that's something I want to do. Like, get rid of the CM3 throttle, make a whole task set up, get an extra base, and then I basically have two complete Verpal setups that I can give away for 100,000. So, if you're not subscribed already, and you want to help me push towards those 100,000, then subscribe button is below, and that also means you will get all the things and, and stuff that you need uh, information-wise when we get there, because two full verbal setups, I mean, we're giving, uh, that's going to be a giveaway worth probably up in like $2,000 range. <laughs> um, that's a lot of stuff, a lot of very expensive gear. And I know some of it will, of course, be used. I mean, these are my old sticks, so these are, of course, used, but it being verbal, if I give this a little bit of a cleaning, it's as new. As abs everything is fully functional, of course. Um, I would subscribe a dozen of times if I could. I'm just going to get this thing out of the way again so we can go and continue to do the setup of the right hand stick. Okay, so where were we with this setup here? I think we got all the axes calibrated. Huh. The Y axis is doing a thing again where it's not working. You see that? We have the left and right axis, that's correct. We have twist down there at the bottom of the set axis. We have the two... We have the two R... X and Y, that's the thumbstick. We have the slider, that works. But that forward-backwards axis is not responding now. Let's calibrate it again. It's responding in here. Now my <laughs> keyboard is floating with drool. <laughs> okay, did we get all the axes forward, backwards? You can see it's responding in here. I think it's just something to do with the profile. And we got that stick there. Okay. Save calibration to profile. Any any plans uh, for the space bunnies as a desk mat? We could do that. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, but the space bunnies are actually on the store now. You should check this out. Look at that. Space bunnies on a t-shirt. <laughs> we could make them into a desk mat if there would be an interest in that. I think it's so cool. Um, let's go back. Okay, let's see. Let's just try to save to device. And see if we get a response out of this axis now. Wait for it. There we go. And we have response now. I think I just forgot to do the save. We have left and then that one and twist, twist. And those are good, and they're all sitting stable at 50%. There's no flickering, so we don't really need any... 
Okay, great. And LEDs are the way they should. So now we just need to go down here to the buttons. What are you doing, bunnies? Are you, hold on, I think the bunnies are trying to basically break into the box with their, with their food. Give me a second. What are you doing? There we go. There we go. I just gave them some more food. So now they have more food. Okay. So now we're doing the same deal as before. We're basically setting this up on button two. And we are going to again. Can I just go E? Yeah. Ooh, we could go all, hmm, all grip. Interesting. Okay, that's that's cool. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. This red. Seven is red. Is red. There you go. Eight is red. Hold on, did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. No, this is correct. This is correct. You are red and you are toggling it on. Yes. Let's try to save this. And let's see what we get. Wait for it to come back. And then we're gonna test it. You guys can test it with me. Bunny cam. By the way, bunnies. Let's test this. Flip. And it goes red on all sides. And flip it out. And we're back to normal. In, red, out, normal. Right? Normal. That is very cool, I think. Cool, okay. So that should be that. There's actually one thing I forgot to do. And that was set up the axis curves. Symmetrical. Normal. How does this work? Oh, this is new. It can't do... S How do you set, like... I want to have, like, more responsive in close, less responsive out of the at the ex extreme back to axis setup okay so it has set a small dead zone Can you see that there's a small dead zone there on that up and down axis so the bottom one is the actual input. So there's also a small dead zone at the extreme out here. You see that? There's a dead zone that's already 100%. Yeah, we could do symmetrical and then drag some nodes, but... Uh, maybe that is okay. I'll try to play with it and then I'll see if if I like it. I need to get used to the joystick as well before we um before we set up any any uh, like sensitivity curves and stuff like that. But it should be in here that we basically just take it to symmetrical.
and then the beginning, and then it should be something like... But it should be opposite, right? It shouldn't be like that. It should be like an S curve, right? That's what I want. I want like an S that comes down like this, goes in, and then goes out again. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so this, that that's the thing with, okay. So how should K says, the software looks really powerful, but it does not exactly intuitive. If you, like, I have set it to promo up here, pro mode. If you feel like that's too much, you can just set it to light. And then you have a much, much simpler setup, right? So now you can see here, dead zone percentages are set here. Um, and dynamical dead zones are set there, stuff like that. Like, you have a very, very simple setup. You don't have all the button stuff. Um... Yeah. If you go into pro mode, then you have a lot more control. Yeah, I'm a little confused about the S axis, like the, the axis thing. I have to play around with that a bit. But I think for now, that we're going to say that that is a uh, finished setup for now, at least. Um, there's one thing I haven't talked about that I actually want to talk about. Um, and that's the bases again, the CM3 bases, because they actually come with quite a bit of uh, accessories here. So one thing that you come with, apart from all the like Allen keys and stuff that you need, is they come with extra springs, or actually not extra springs, but replace replaceable springs. So you remember those dampeners, not the, um, well, not the dampeners, sorry, the, the pre-tensioners, the big screws you could set. You can swap those, you can screw, unscrew those completely. Um, yeah, let me just show, that's a good idea, Uncle. Let's just show the, uh, the base that we're talking about here on, uh, on the stream. This one here. So as you can see here, if you remove those there and there, you can replace the springs. So not only can you adjust the tension of those springs with by those buttons, but even if that's not enough, they also come with these two, where this is a much softer spring, and this is a very, very hard spring. So if even if the pretensioners doesn't give you enough, um, if the pretensioner doesn't give you enough like, if it doesn't make them heavy enough as you want to, you just unscrew it completely and put a heavier spring in. But if it doesn't make it light enough, even when completely, uh, like, uh, completely up, you put a lighter spring in. And you can just replace that so that this, the joystick feel exactly the way you want. Now, there is other things you can replace as well. And these are called cams. And I have them here. These things here. get them. We have a lot of like profiles like this and they come in different shapes. You can see these might look almost identical but if you put them on top of each other like so you will see that they have a very slight a very slight different shape right and I'll show you why. So what you do with these is, if we can find a picture, you can actually see them here. There. You can see them right there. There's a cam there. So when we move the joystick back and forth, those ball bearings there are gonna roll in on this top side of these cams right here. And depending on the shape of the cams, you get a different force profile out of the... Um, um, you get a different force profile out. They actually show it very well. So here you can see you have cams, um, you have for aviation sim hard, that means there's a hard center. You have a aviation sim free, where there's almost no center. You have the different springs. And I actually show it very well down here. Here, that's the one I wanted to show. Look at this. So you can see you have the, um, the uh, avia cams, that's for aviation stuff. And you can see the way they work is when it says no center, that means that it goes, when you install these cams, 
it goes smoothly through the center. There's no center notch. You can't feel the center, right? It just goes smoothly through the center. And, but as you can see with these aviation cams is, as you go closer, they're all like U-shaped. As you go closer to the edge, the force that you have to put on the stick in order to push it, um, so no physical dents. Yeah, so these ones out here has no physical indents. And the more, f the more like uh, you push it out from the center, the harder the stick pushes back and the more force you have to push. Just like if you were flying an airplane, the more deflection you put on your control surfaces, the harder those control surfaces are to move. And that's what they're trying to simulate with these different cams. And you can then go anywhere from like a no center to a soft center to a hard center. And you can see the hard center here has a very distinct dip right there in the middle. And that means that the center is almost gonna feel like you fall into through that notch uh, there at the center before it goes out again. Um, and then the springs here, of course, you can see that they also make it either just make it heavier. And those are the same thing you can adjust with those screws. So you basically like compress the, or, or loosen those springs as you see fit. Now, you have the Cosmo cams. The Cosmo cams are the ones with a, with, a, with a third hole in them, like this one I have here. And the Cosmo cams, as you can see, they have, either you have the no center, that means the force is just the same, regardless of where you go. Um, but what I have done is I've moved, at least so far, I've moved over to the Cosmo cam with a soft center. I think especially on the throttle side, it's important to have that soft center so that I can feel when I hit the center. Because as I am going to be using my, my left hand uh, stick as a throttle, and I'm going to have it in both forward and reverse mode, that means if I push it forward, it's going to go forward. If I pull it back, it's going to pull back. I need to be able to feel that center so I know where stationary is. And that's why I need those uh, Cosmo cams with a soft center. Um, but I don't want I don't want the throttle to be harder to push the further it goes out. So that's why I'm gone with this one. Um, and I've actually got it with all my axes so far because I like having that center. I, I don't know. I feel like being able to feel when I hit the center is kind of nice in a in a combat situation. Um, Simply because it's really nice to know when you're when you're pitching down, or you can feel the moment you begin to pitch up. So you constantly get that that like physical fit feedback from from now. Okay, now I'm, I'm past the center, so now I'm rolling the other one, or I'm pitching up the other way. Of course, you can see it in the game, but the fact that you can feel it means that you you begin to to develop a feeling for how much you need to pull the stick to get a certain reaction out of your ship and stuff like that. Um, so personally, I like to play. Obviously, because I play uh, space sims, I like to play with the Cosmo cams. If you're more of a, um, if you're more of a of a, of a, of a uh, flight sim nerd, then you can put the aviation cam in. Um, but it's really up to you what you prefer. Um, but the good thing is that you have the choice, right? So you can basically get like all of these cams comes with the base. Like I have a handful of cams here. All of them comes included, and you can just go replace them. And if you, for some reason, feel like, hey, today I uh, I, I want to try something else, maybe um, maybe you suddenly one day think, hey, you know what, I would rather fly airplanes instead. Well, then, if you, I mean, it's not something your realistic is gonna change every day, as it does mean you're gonna have to take the base apart and unscrew some screws and screw them back in. But if you ever in the future lose interest in playing flight sims and want to go over and play um sorry lose interest in, in playing space sims and want to move over and play flight sims you can do that you can change the way your joystick feels to a absolutely extreme degree i have never seen a base with this much customizability as you have on uh, on this base um yeah, they show here how you, you change the springs. You remove those two like rubber plugs, you unscrew those. Um, oh, that's okay. Then you take the cams out. And if you want to if you want to replace the springs, you pull those up, and there are springs below, and you replace the springs, and you put the whole thing down, and you screw these things in again and put the things in and put the bottom plate on, and everybody's happy. 
exactly just, it's nice to have the option, but that just means that it might gonna take some tinkering, but no matter what you prefer, there is going to be a way that you can set up, oh, you can't see it, I have one more screen here. I was showing this, how you place the, uh, the springs, right? So you, you remove those rubber things there, you remove the screws, those fall down out of the bottom of it, and that's where you replace the cams. Then you take the screws out, you can replace the springs down there if you want to. Screw everything together, put the plugs in, screw the bottom on, and you're good to go. But yeah, it's just nice to have the option. But it is also a very expensive piece of kit, as you can see here. <laughs> and that's for one, right? And that's not without a, that's without a grip, so yeah. And it's currently in back order. It is also their, hands down, their best base yet. I'll have to say that. Yeah, very nice. So, um, I guess next step is just to go and begin to select some, uh, some new key binding files. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna go and get everything plugged in again here, so that um, so that's gonna be a lot of USB sounds, and that's coming from me here. So don't you worry, it's not your machine that's all broken and stuff. It's just me plugging in stuff. Come on, where are you? Click and control panel. Control panel, go click. Nope. Control panel does not go click. Control panel, click. Nice, okay. Let's go and um, let's fire up Elite and let's go and try to uh, <laughs> to make a few key bindings. And see if, 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 I don't believe, no, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work. I just thought, I could, could it have picked it up? I mean, this is the same layout of the joysticks, but that's very unlikely to work on the first go. 29 likes to go. Okay, we're getting there. Getting there. And by the way, for those of you who may be new to live stream, the like goals mean that once you reach it, I'm going to set up a discount code on the merch store so you can get some merchandise on the discount going to be 10% off and the discount code is going to be valid until the end of the stream. And then I'm going to remove it. Okay. Elite. Let's go elite. Where am I? Am I docked somewhere? Or am I in space? No, Dunkle, you can't kill Impsilos. Okay, so we're just gonna... S yeah, okay. Nothing is working here. Uh, I have no menu control. Nothing. So we need to go and set everything up. From... Scratch, basically. Let's start. Interface mode. It's set up to keyboard and mouse. We're just going to start on a blank profile, because I have to set this up from scratch, it seems. Because... We could do a generic joystick. No, we should do a blank, a blank profile to start with. That means we have to set every single button again. Okay. UI panel up. UI panel down. UI panel left. You are panel, right? UI panel select, UI panel next. <laughs> next panel. 
previous panel. There's the next page of previous pages. Apply this to start with. Yeah, we have UI, so that works at least. And UI back also works. Okay. See, this is what I wanted to avoid. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Entire Elite Dangerous setup. Next, I am going to check the panels in a second here. Um, galaxy map. Pitch axis. Your axis. Translate Y axis. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make the pitch axis that one. Uh, no, translate, no, oh, that should be the x-axis, okay, I, don't, I must have messed that up, hold on, yes, no, oh, that should be the z-axis then, for lifting, what should be the pitch, I don't know what pitch, let's leave pitch, zoom, No, we're gonna have to not make that an axis. Let's just make that a scroll wheel, basically. We're gonna take the camera suite in a bit. Free camera, hollow me, playlist, and store camera. We're gonna... Ship, toggle, camera suite. Control, alt, space. Control, Alt, Space. Control, Alt, Space. Commander, toggle, camera, speed. Control, Alt, Space. Okay, so swapping cameras. Where how we do this normally? Swapping cameras. Previous camera. And next camera. Enter free camera. Actually, you know what? I've got to I've changed my mind. This should be previous camera. This should be next camera. And we don't want all that. But we have just enter free camera. There. And that means now we need to go into the free camera mode. And then say toggle hot. Nope. Not an axis. Toggle hot. Okay. Increase speed. Decrease speed, forward access, full range, forward only, throttle reversal, no, move forward, lateral access. Lift access. Pitch access. Your axis. Roll axis. That's not right. Roll axis. There we go. Um, camera, ship, control, toggle. Camera, ship, control. Attach or detach camera. Zoom blur toggle. Increase zoom or focus. Decrease. Increase. Oh. Okay. Let's go check this out. Free camera. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, well, that's working. There's the heart. So that's working too. And we can go and orbit, and I can.
Yeah, three cameras working. Okay, shift controls. Hope you guys had all evening. Mouse controls, flight rotation, yaw axis. Yaw into roll, blah, blah, blah. Oh, was that right? Roll axis. That's roll. Pitch axis. That is pitch. Okay, that was easy. Flight throttle. Lateral thrust. That axis. Vertical thrust. That axis. Uh, throttle forward and backwards axis. That one. Alternate flight controls. Gonna miss that. Gonna s oh, what was that? Thrust forward, backwards. Leave that blank, sorry. Um, alternate, we're gonna keep that blank for now. Because we don't usually do that. Throttle axis. And it's gonna be full range. Increase. Decrease. Throttle. Go away. Throttle increments continuous. Set throttle to 75%. I want a button for that there. Okay. Flight landing overrides, flight landing overrides, we don't need that. Uh, throttle assist, toggle, oh sorry, flight assist. Flight assist is that button over there. Engine boost is there. Frame shift drive is there. Super cruise is that button there. And hyper jump, we don't need anything for that. Rotational correction, keep that on at all times. And orbit lines. Uh, let's make it that one there. Okay, that was flight miscellaneous. Targeting. Okay, select target ahead. Cycle next target. Cycle, oops. Cycle, next target. Cycle, pre. Stop that stupid thing. Previous target. Select highest threat. Press that one. Now, you know what? I only use the target selecting really when I have for hostiles, so I'm just gonna skip the normal targets. What do I do you, you second something? Does verbal have a shifted functions? Um, if so, hold the pinky button, for example. Yeah, I do believe it has like clutch mode, um, as far as I recall, yeah. Okay, hold on, select wingman one. Select, I was just using my control panels over here. Select team member two, select team member three, team members target. And nav lock. Okay, moving on. Oh, right, uh, next subsystem. There we go. Previous subsystems, there we go. Oh, target next system should be that one. So that means that removes the orbit line one. Never mind. Weapons. Primary fire. Secondary fire. Cycle next fire groups. There. Previous fire groups. There. Deploying hard points. Firing deploying hard points should be on, I guess. Should be off, I don't like that. Deploying hard points. Can we set that to hold? Because that should... Okay, we're just gonna set that to there. Okay. That was weapons, right? Yeah, we're heading into cooling. Silent running is over there. And deploying a heat sink is there. <laughs> Miscellaneous, this is gonna take forever. 
Ship lights is there. Sensor zoom range. Ah, let's keep that there. Increase sensor zoom. Go away. Go away. Okay, here we go. Divert power to engines. There. Divert power to weapons. There. Divert power to systems. There. Reset power. There. Reset H and D for head mounted displays only. We don't need that. We don't fly VR. Cargo scoop is that button there. Jettison all cargo is safety switch in there. Landing gear is, let me just check here, is there. Whoops. Microphone mute. Uh, Mute button mode toggle, push to talk, use shield cell banks. Use shield cell banks. Use shield cell banks is there. Use chaff launcher is there. Use ECM is that button there. Oh god. Enable context menu in ship is off. Weapon color, engine color, night vision is there. Uh, we're getting somewhere now, guys. Mode switch, UI focus. Go away. Wait, okay. external panel. Comms panel. Quick comms. Roll panel. Internal panels. Look at panel. Look at external panel. Focus the panel. Does nothing. Okay, that's fine. Open galaxy map is... Was it galaxy map? Yeah, there. And open system map is there. Head look. We gotta do that through... Um, through, uh, through Toby at some point. Game menu. Friends menu. Switch cockpit mode. We need that. Enter FSS mode. I have a button for that as well. There. Okay. We're gonna skip the head look. Gonna skip, is there anything special in multi-crew? Toggle mode. Uh, primary fire. Secondary fire. Let's see if this is right. Okay. Why can't there be rebound in the same thing in multi crew? That's pretty stupid. Okay, I'm gonna wait for setting up multi crew. Fighter orders. Hmm, I should probably set fighter orders, shouldn't I? Where can I set my fighter orders? I can do that down here. Recall fighter should be on a back thing. Um, engage it will attack. Attack target is gonna be a forward thing. Um, follow me is gonna be towards me. Hold position is gonna be oops. Hold position is gonna be like a push. No, nope. it's gonna be a push. Why is it keep saying that it's? Oh, well, it's follow me. There we go. That's better. Um, attack target. Or just set it to engage at will. And then the other defend. We're getting there now. We're going to the full spectrum scanner now. This is a relatively short area. Okay, camera pitch. Um, yeah, okay. Camera pitch. Camera yaw. Zoom in on target. 
zoom out, tuning is uh, uh, that axis there. No, hold on. Absolute tuning, that's what we want. There we go. Scan. Leave FSS. Mouse X axis is your and relative mouse axis on, that's fine, that's fine. Target current signal. Let us zoom in on target. Uh, target current signal, boom. Show help, nothing. Detail surface scanner, we're almost there. <laughs> Toggle front and back view, should be that one. Can I rebind buttons in this? Yes, I can toggle. You're thinking that will be faster? Exit mode. Next filter. Previous filter. Third person. Yaw. Pitch. We are done. We need the SRV controls. And the unfoot ones we're just gonna leave on the keyboard and mouse controls because that's fine. So that actually means now I should be able to move around menus and stuff. And if we're lucky I can also fly now. Let's see how many axes are messed up and, <laughs> and flip the wrong way or stuff like that. Oh, I still have the mouse widget. I need to move that. Okay, lift axis is good. Throttle axis is good too. I need to get used to this. Okay, roll is fine. Yaw is fine. Pitch is fine. My lift axis seems to be good. See, it's good that we spent that time in um, in prep here. And it looks like my strafe axis side to side looks fine too. Oh, my boost. Oh, right, my landing gear is still down. Okay, let's just remove that mouse widget. Um, show mouse widget. Off. Apply. There we go. And I can open, like, Galaxy or system maps? Yes. Galaxy maps? Perhaps. Oh, there we go. It was just slow. Okay, how does this work? I can move around the galaxy map. I can rotate on the galaxy map. I guess I can still use the mouse for that if I wanted to do that, which I usually do. But it still works. I can move around and they all seem to be... And that would be the lift axis here. Yeah, that seems to work too. Okay. That is working. Now we need to get outside the mass lock. We are outside mass lock, so I should be able to deploy some weapons. And let's just try to pull our kill one scanner. Uh, that was a missile, that's fine. Kill one scanner is... I probably need a target. Hold on, let's just try to go... Let's just try to go and and put our missiles 
on group two in this one. So we could swap over. What happened there? Okay, so my secondary fire is wrong. Controls, ship controls, weapons, secondary fire. There we go. Hmm, it has a bit of a, a bit of a centering issue now. My... See, there's a bit of a drift there on the center axis, on the, uh, both on the roll axis and on the, uh, on that axis. But at least my secondary fire is working now. Okay, I'm just gonna go and set up a few dead zones. That's odd. So it was flight rotation. Um, we had on the roll axis. Roll axis has no dead zone, so we're just gonna give it a slight dead zone. And was roll and pitch also gonna need a slight dead zone. And just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to give my throttle axis a slight dead zone as well. Let's try to see. If that solved it. Look at that. Rock steady now. Still very small dead zone here. And for the throttle. So I should be able to fight center. I need slightly bigger dead zone I think on my throttle. So that it's easier for me to fight the center. It's a little harder because of the, um, because of the dampener. To locate the center of the throttle accurately every time. But I want to be able to go and... Oh, not graphics. I want to be able to find that center um, a lot more accurately, not a lot more easily. So my throttle is gonna just increase that dead zone a little bit. See that now? That's better. So now I still have the full range here, but I can just pull it back, and it should hit dead center. Let's do it from from reverse and put it back into that zone. Perfect. Okay. So that seems like, apart from we haven't done the SRV yet, it seems like we got ourselves a... We need to set up the, uh, the Toby eye tracker as well, we haven't done that yet. But um, let's just go ahead and uh, kill our speed, and let's just go and quickly set up the SRV. Driving, okay, here we go. Drive assist is uh, there. Drive assist default is on. SRV steering, yes, 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 yes. Steering access is there. So, if I go away with you. Roll axis is there. Pitch axis is there. Vertical thrust axis is boost. Um, and actually, all these like keyboard inputs should just go away. I don't want it to move around if I'm putting stuff on the keyboard. Um, do you have rudder pedals? No, I do not have rudder pedals because I have bunnies. And if I put anything with a cable on the floor, I do not have rudder pedals anymore then. Um, hold on, so uh, let's just pull these triggers in. SRV primary fire, boom. SRV secondary fire, boom. SRV handbrake. Why is it joint 32? Okay. That will work. Headlights. Turret. Next fire group, up. Next fire group, previous fire group. We're doing all the same things we just did for the ships, but just, again. Targeting, select target ahead, there. 
driving throttle controls off off uh, where are we in the turret now? Oh, hold on. Now if I go for the turret, I actually do want those on. Turret yaw is there. Turret pitch is there. Mouse sensitivities, that should be fine. Close all this. Turret controls, throttle, speed axis, boom. Forward only, nope, full range, thank you. Um, uh, remove that, remove that, accelerate access, that's if you're using a, a speed pedal. Um, yeah, that's fine. Driving miscellaneous. Power to engines, power to, nope. Power to weapons, power to systems, reset. Cargo scoop is there. Jettison all cargo is on a safety button. Recall dismiss ship. Now nah, we're going to take that from the menu. Enable context menu in SRV. Drive mode shift. UI focus. Uh, let me see here. External panel. Comms panel. Quick comms, no thank you. Roll panel. Open galaxy map, sure. Not sure how often I'm gonna need to open the galaxy map in an SLV, but okay. Open discoveries, I'll do that manually. Switch cockpit mode is that button there. And the same with head look, we're gonna fix that out in Okay, apply. That's it. Done deal. We're ready to play lead. Woo! I need to get used to the throttle. That's I've been so used to now playing with uh, with that auto centering throttle now that uh, I need to get used to that. Okay, let's just go and um, let's play around with the Toby eye tracker. Hold on. Oh my god, my mouse is still... Look at this. I was I was moving my mouse, and then I realized the mouse is still controlling the ship. Mouse controls. Nope. Off. Off. Go away. Apply. There we go. Ah. That's much better. Move the mouse and no spaceship rotations. Love it. Okay. What we need to do now is we need to go and set up our Toby with the new controls. It's a Toby game hop, if I recall. Let me see if this is the game hop. Yes, it is the Toby game hop. There it is. Hello, Toby game hop. Okay, so mm, enable eye track and we put, put that off in the lead. Um. There, here we go. Enable this control feature. Enable disable key is going to be. That button there. And reset head tracking key. It's going to be that button there. Apply. Is that it? Oh yeah, there we go. So I can reset it, so now it's not tracking anything. And I can enable it. Yeah, and I should disable it so it doesn't... It's a little too sensitive for my liking right now. It's a little twitchy, as you can see. It's all over the place. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. To controls. To hmm, shift controls. Yeah, it's a bit aggressive, I agree. Um, I don't know if this one controls it too, but the other thing I wanted to do was... Mode switch. 
Looking at the panel does nothing. Does not. Oh, show the panel. No. Oh, does nothing. Does nothing. Does nothing. Okay. Let's apply that. Let's see if that hits tracking. Did anything for us here? Yeah, see, that's lo a lot better. Now it's not so aggressive, and we can look around now. <laughs> Look at the joystick, it goes the wrong way. I must have like double inverted it somehow. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So if you ever doubt why I usually have this disabled, I mean, it's nice if you like, I sometimes use it in combat situations if you have a target above you, so you can go and you can look up like that to see where he's at. Um, but yeah. No, I think it's just because, I think the reason why it does this um, is because it's set to regular. So basically, if we went into verbal and inverted our axis there, and then also inverted the axis in Elite, then I think it would be right. Um, can, we just, can we just test that, actually? If I go in here, go to controls, ship controls, uh, flight rotation, and it is the pitch axis. If we set that to inverted there, now I'll bet you that if I push this forward, Nope. It does not invert it. That is super odd. But at least the ship now does. Like the ship actions now matches, but my joystick axis is inverted. So that means... I need to go and flip it in in the uh, and flip it in the uh, in the verbal software if I wanted to match in game, but I don't really care to be honest. Let's just go flight rotation and uninvert that. There we go. Okay. So now. I have something else very important I need to go and do. Come on. We need to... Let me just find it here in a second. Ah. Oh, is it, a, is it an app data? Yes, I found it. It was an app data local frontier developments, elite dangerous options, bindings. Take all those bindings. Jump into that server, bindings, elite dangerous. And then we're gonna make a 2021 09 27. And did I copy them? Can't remember. Copy those there. There we go. <laughs> Key bindings backed up like you should. Okay. One game down, one to go, and then we pretty much start setting this up.
Yes. Okay, let me just go and uh, let's fire up Star Citizen. Let's set up the key bindings for that. I am a lot more... Well, I'm not as good as controlling key bindings in Star Citizen as I am in, uh, in Elite. I've done the Elite key binding so many times right now that... Do you export my verbal setup to a file as well? We can. Um, we probably should. As I mean, if you guys thought Elite has a lot of bindings, no, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. This is gonna be like Star Citizen has, I don't know. I've, I've, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> but hopefully we should be able to set it up. I've done it a few times now, so I think I can. Uh, I think I can figure it out. Um, put them in a Dropbox. No, 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 that's okay, because the server I put them on is my NAS. So my NAS is on the other end of the apartment, and that NAS, not only does it have two redundant drives, so it's more secure than if it was your local hard drive, but every night at 5 a.m., it backs itself up to a cloud server somewhere else, off-site, meaning that should my entire building burn down, <laughs> I always have backups now, off-site. Okay, let's just get the, um, get this thing going. Do you use VJoy with the Elite settings? No. Um, yeah, okay. Here's the thing. I When you get... You can't just retake the, the bindings like that. It's not... I don't think you could just take a key binding file. Because your device is going to have different device numbers and they're not going to pick them up. And also because I have, like, the majority of my... Let me just get this thing again so you can see it. Um, uh, get this. Get that. Then get you guys over here. So, we already looked at the joysticks, but the majority of my controls is actually happening over here. That This one here would normally be sitting in here, in the middle. And then that shelf there will have my uh, keyboard and mouse on it. Those are both kind of can be wireless. So they would normally sit there in between when I am actually flying. But since we're not flying today, I just kept it out there. But the, most of my controls is happening out here. You can see there we have system map and galaxy map, light, night vision. Down here we get stuff like... Oh, did the crash? No, there we go. There we get stuff like um, uh, super cruise. We get uh, next system route, FSS scanner, cargo hatch. We have all the wingman stuff controlled over here. Over here, I have uh, heat sinks, um, ECM, shield silt banks. What is that? That is silent running. That is a um, flight assist. All that stuff is handled over here. And then this one here. Oh, where is it? Yep, that's my jettison all cargo. That's hiding in there where it's nice and safe. But now we need to set it up. Do you use all this in VR? No, I play on monitor. Like the Star Citizens in kind. Yeah, okay, so I really like the bindings in Star Citizens because you can bind everything from locking your doors to, like, everything. But it just takes a long time to set up. I mean, I enjoy it once it is set up and, and it's ready to go. It just takes forever. So, welcome to Star Citizens Key Bindings. We are going to set up a joystick and we're going to go in here. Uh, we already have some control profiles in here, so we can pretty much take those and throw them out. Um, so I think I'm just going to start fresh. Okay. 
Okay, so joystick one is going to be my... Right stick. Joystick two is going to be my left stick. Joystick three is going to be my right panel. And four is going to be my left panel, like so. What size monitor do you use for Toby? I think it's a 27. It's not that big, but it's a very color accurate monitor because video stuff. Okay. So we have a number of different menus here, just like in Elite, we can expand those and, and just basically get going from the start. Okay, um, emergency exit seat. So that is our, um, that's our like jet is like a jet, so like uh, ejection seat. So yeah, basically like you emergency exit seat. Oh, so that's just like emergency jumping out of the eject it must be. So we're gonna set eject. Let's set eject to that one. Why is that input two now? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Look behind. Mining mode toggle. Mining mode toggle is that one. Scanner mode toggle is that one. Quantum travel system is that one. Missile operator mode. Where are we gonna put missile operator mode? Let's put missile operator mode over there. Yes, mining mode, like first thing we set. How do you go into mining? Okay, so that was just the mode selector. Now we go vehicle cockpit, self-destruct. Let's put self-destruct there. Uh, that was my ejection seat. Oh, hold on. So let's move the ejection seat somewhere else. Let's move the ejection seat there. That was missile operator. Uh, okay, then missile operator can go, you can go th there. Maybe that's a little dangerous actually, because that's next. I don't want it. To, oops, I don't want it too close to. <laughs> I don't want the missile operator mode so close to uh, to like self destruct and eject. Maybe missile operator mode should be. That bottom, that seems better. Okay, back to the cockpit. Increase cooler rate, decrease cooler rate, flight systems ready. Um, okay, here we go. We gotta go with the flight system ready thing. I have other plans for that in a second. Um, open all doors is there close all doors is there an open and close toggle is there locking no I don't want that I want here lock all doors is there and unlock all doors is there. <sighs> Vehicle view. Look left, look right, look up. Cycle camera view. Zoom in, zoom out. I keep going out of it when I don't want to. Okay, 
Phil says we reached a hundred, so we need suggestions. What should the um, what should the discount code be today? Come on, mouse. Let me see some suggestions in chat. While I log in. All the key bindings suggested by Dongle. And then we have <laughs> Inquisitor Pig says all the key bindings. Stuck in Binding Hill. Setting profile. Settings for life. Sorry. Read that wrong. Yeah. All bound up. Bindings for days. I like bindings for days. We're gonna go with bindings for days. Um, well, if I could remember how I do this, is it under settings? No, sorry, it's a new store. I'm still getting used to it. Membership, analytics, promotions. Yes, promotions, create promotion. Bindings for days gives you 10% off and it's going to last until the end of the live stream. There we go. Okay, I think it's working. Yes. Yes. Yes, now it's working. Okay, now it's live. Okay, so if you go to um, d2eastore.com and you use the code Binding for days, you will get 10% off any merchandise you get in there. And as always, this is going to last until the end of the live stream, at which point I'm going to remove it. Nice. Okay. Third person. Zoom in. Third person camera view. Zoom in into third person camera view. And zoom out. Free look. Um, we don't need all this because a lot of this is actually handled there. Dynamic zoom in. Okay, I think we're gonna. But because this is all just view. Okay, let's move down to the flight movement. That's a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, okay, pitch. Nope, we're not gonna go pitch up. We're gonna go pitch axis. No, stop. Pitch axis. That's our pitch axis. Your axis. Your axis. Roll axis. Strafe up. How do I clear? Unbound. Unbind. Strafe up and down. That axis. Strafe left. Strafe right. Strafe left right axis. Throttle forward. There we go. Throttle forward and back. Decouple mode toggle. That's basically a flight assist. So that goes there. This is cursed to auto land. Okay, we're gonna rebind that. Boost is set there. Speed limiter increase. 
Why did they use before for my speed limiter increasing? Speed limiter decrease. Oh, right, I, I used the relative axis. Ugh, I did it again. Stupid. Again, sorry, I'm not as proficient with these kind of settings as I were in, or sorry, I am in Elite Dangerous. Um, we're still under vehicle, vehicle movement, and I needed to go and say the speed limiter there and there needs to be removed. Um, relative absolute axis for the speed limiter is... Uh, there. Yeah. Speed limiter on, off, hold slash toggle. How do we know if it's hold or toggle? I don't know, we'll figure that out. Accelerate increase, accelerate. Match target without a space break. Lock pitch your movement. G force safety on off. Cruise control toggle. Landing systems. Uh, let me see here. Landing systems should be that one. VTOL. No, hold on. Something's wrong. It says that's input 40. Why is that input 42? Oh, let me just try it. Something is... Something's not right here. 42, that's better. Auto land. We put an auto land somewhere. Nah, I'll use the keyboard if I need to go. Ah, uh, did it again. I'll use the keyboard if I want to go auto land. Uh, where were we? We were still up here in flight movement. Okay, nice. That was flight movement. That's one of the bigger ones. Quantum travel. Engage quantum drive. But we already have it up here, don't we? Quantum travel systems. Tuckle. Oh, right, right, we need to have that button. Yes, that should be fine. Flight docking. Okay, we're going to be fine without that, I think. Um, vehicle targeting. I love the targeting system in Star Citizen. Okay, uh, we're not going to do all the pinning. Unpin, pin, unpin, remove selected target, remove all pinned, lock selected target. Unlock selected target. It's gonna be the same, so we can unlock him again. Enable, disable, head look. We're gonna do that. In a bit, in a bit. Enable, disable. Target padlock. Auto zoom on selected target. Switch fighter lead lag. Enter remote turret. Vehicle targeting. Cycle locks. Target cycling. Okay, hold on. Um, cycle selection. Cycle lock in view. Let's just go. That one is there. 
forward is there. Pinned attackers, hostile back and forth, old back and forth. Sub targets, that's their subsystems. Backwards is there. And forward is there. Hail target. Flight radar. Active ping. Okay, screw that missile operator mode. I'll go back and find a better button for that. Uh, increase ping angle. Is there. Decrease the ping angle. Is there. Vehicle scanning. Active scanning. Increase scan angle. Decrease scan angle. And now for the most important menu. Vehicle mining. Fire mining laser. Switch mining laser. Switch mining laser. Is that mining laser mode? Yeah. Disable that, disable that. Mining laser power. There we go. Slot one. Slot two. Slot three. Jettison all cargo. Turret movement, pitch up. No. Pitch access. Yaw access. Toggle turret, mouse movement. Exit remote turret. Exit remote turret. There we go. Remote turret advance, nope. Vehicle weapons, fire all, no. Fire group, let's get those in there. Fire group one, fire group two. Manual and gimbal mode switch. Where do I put that? I can put that. Have I used this button for anything? No. Manual, manual gimbal mode. Swap v joyless lock direction. Hold on. Cycle gimbal assist. Oh, hold on. Cycle gimbal assist, standard gimbal, and gimbal lock mode. That's the one I want. And I'm going to put that there. Again, we're going to come back to the missiles later. Shields and countermeasures. Decoys. Launching a decoy. Decoy panic button. <laughs> Um, a noise.
Okay, now we need to control our shields. Let's put the shields here. Raise shield level front. Raise shield levels on the back of the ship. Raise shield levels to the left. And raise the shield levels to the right. Uh, shield levels top and bottom. I don't feel like we have that many. And reset. We're gonna screw that, that there. We don't have that many ships that have a top and bottom. But I should probably find keys for it as well. Um, can we use that one for top? And that one for bottom, there we go. Power triangle alignment, yes! Okay, weapon increase, weapon decrease. So, this is basically our pips. Um, Wells weapons again. Let me just check, hold on, let's just fight this here. Mm, yeah, okay. So, as you can see here, weapons are on the left. Thrusters are down, shields on the right. Okay, so weapon increase should be, uh, let me think, there. Oh, hold on, no, this is better. Let's use that one so we can either tap the key to increase or hold it to set to max. So that means that key there is now like that. Um, and engines increase slash set to max. Engines with a down key. And shields increase slash set to max should be there. And reset alignment should be there. Now but with this one here, I can I can I can tap it once, or I can increase it and move it around, or I can just hold it to move it uh, to max if I want to. Flight power, here we go. Set power on is there. Set power off there. Toggle power, set, here we go, set thrusters on, there, set thrusters off, there, shield power on, there, shield power off, there, and then we should have weapon power. On. And. Off. Holding might be a little problematic in the middle of a fight. I think it's fine. Flight hot, cycle, leather mode, scoreboard, map, vibe, helmet, visor. It's fine. Lights, headlights, toggle. Is there? On foot, all. Okay, we're not gonna need anything here because we're gonna use the keyboard for that. EVA all is also done in keyboard and uh, keyboard mode. Vehicle. 
Horn. Oh, that's important. Where am I going to put the horn? I'm going to put it by pressing the scroll wheel. Oh, that's not it. Cycle camera, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, look left, look right. Free look, hold. Fire group one. Fire group two. Fight systems, flight slash systems ready. Uh, let's just put it there. For power on as well, that's fine. We're gonna have duplicates there. Um, open all doors is there. Close all doors is there. Open close toggle. I actually need to set that to to that one there. Lock unlock doors. So locking all doors is there. And look at that, we're almost at the bottom now, guys. We're getting there. Look at that. Almost there. Okay. Ground vehicle movement. Drive forward, drive forward, backwards. Let's just get those two dis disabled. It's gonna be that axis. Which is also for the ships, but that's okay. We can't be both in a vehicle and a spaceship at the same time. Jaw is there. Flight up down axis. Hotas. Pitch up down axis. Okay. Yuck. Brake. Dynamic zoom boost. Okay, that's done. Electronic access spectator, spectator camera, blah, 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 blah. Social general respawn. Don't need that. We use the back key for the keyboard for that. Uh, and all that we don't need there. That's fine. Voice or IP and head tracking. Enable head tracking. Recenter head tracking. Device except tracker R. There we go. Enable disable tracking. Voice over IP push to talk. Um, we need to go and set those on the keyboard side. So hold on, let's just quickly go and do that. Gamepad. Uh, keyboard mouse. Yeah, voice. Um, push to talk to everyone and push to talk to, whoops, push to talk to proximity. There we go. Okay. Quick keys, interface, inner thought, blah, 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 camera. Okay. We have all the advanced camera controls here. We need to play around with those too. Not going to do that now. We're almost there. We need to go in here and we need to find head tracking, face where head tracking Toby, head tracking mm. auto center enable, gaze based targeting selection is set to yes. So that's good, we're good to go. All these do now hit back into our key bindings here, advanced, and then click control profile, and then we're going to save the control profile, and we're going to call this one D2EA Star Citizen um, 0927, so we know when that is from. 
and we're gonna save those key bindings. Now those are actually already put out in the file, so we can just go and see if we can find those as well, so we can back them up. Uh, oh no, maybe before we back them up, maybe we should jump in game and actually see if this works. <laughs> that seems prudent, doesn't it? So, chances that I'm going to be able to fly out of the hangar in the first go, I've got a, my throttle's going to be inverted or something stupid again. A rear command of free fly might be a quicker, yeah, but I still want to check, yeah, we could do that actually. I'm just going to jump in the game, that's fine. Oh, chance to play some Star Citizen. Yeah, that is working. Yeah, Calvin, I will I will back up the, the bounding. I was actually about to go out and back up the bindings files. Um, but then I realized I should probably just do a very basic check just to see if this actually helped. I'm not going there. Uh, just to see if this actually works. So we can just get like the most glaring mistakes out of the way. I'm sure I'll find some problems with them in the coming days, but for now, I'm just gonna take anything that I have here. Welcome to the ASOP Something small would be nice. System. What do I have here? Uh, Cutlass Black? Can we take a Pisces? Something small? You're just gonna quickly claim a Pisces. Your insurance claim has been Your vehicle set. has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 3, there we go. Okay, what do you guys think? Am I gonna end up in prison? Oh, let's just get into the hangar. We're gonna set up a quick vote here before we leave the hangar. Um, so basically, what do you, what do you think is going to happen now when I try to take off? Um, and I'm going to give you three options here. Uh, what are we doing? How will the takeoff go? Question mark. No problems. Um... It will work, but it will not. Oh, I just I can't write that much. Work, but not pretty. Is option two, and option three is going to be crash and burn. And sent to prison. Okay, go! <laughs> I've set up a poll now on YouTube. You can go and you can vote what you think is going to happen now that. Um <laughs> oh, yeah, most people like crash and burn and go to prison. <laughs> Oh, what are, what are you doing, Pisces? Stop that. If you see how the poll is going, I'm gonna give you a few more minutes, or just a few more, a little bit more time. Work, but not pretty. Okay. Uh, you have, gonna give you like 30 more seconds, then we're gonna take down the poll. So get your votes in now. What do you guys think? Oh, 17% says no problems. You guys have more faith in me than I do. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm personally on, I think it will work, but there will be some problems. It won't be pretty, but I think I'll make it. 
That's my guess. But we still have 47% that thinks I'll crash and burn and go to prison. No, oh, oh, now, now, now they're even out. Okay, I am going to close the vote. I uh, need one more vote so one of them wins. I know it's a tie. Oh, it's still a tie. It's still a tie. <laughs> Come on, guys. Jesus. Hey. Right. There we go. End poll. So, 40% says crash and burn. 31% says it will work, but I'll but it won't be pretty. And 27% says no problems. Hmm. Okay. So from this point on, we are only going to use... Well, the head tracking is working. So look at that. Toby head tracking is working. And I can disable that. Look at that. No more head tracking. That works. Okay, let's try to power on the ship. Power is on. And can we just try weapons? Yeah, let's do a flight system check of shields. shields, offline. shields offline. Nice, working too. Engines. Engines, offline. Engines online. Working too. Main power. Okay, power settings so far. All systems online. I forgot to set my contact ATC. So we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We gotta go and have to set have to set that. Hey, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room here. So we're gonna let the doors open wide before we go out and, and, and crash into something or someone. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a, a, a takeoff. We're gonna lift off the pad. Yeah. Okay, that worked. And the axis is the right way. What about our pitch? Pitch axis is the wrong way. Your axis is correct. Oh, and our throttle axis is the right way. So apart from the pitch being uh, being reversed. Oh. Let's just Thank you. Please visit again. Okay, let's go and fix the pitch. Um, where was that ATC? Do you guys recall? It's probably under social, social general. Flight movements, that's a weird place, but okay. Flight movement. Request landing. And then we need to say our pitch axis, which is input four needs to be inverted input 4 inversion settings flight flight movement flight pitch yes so now pitch axis is the right way yeah Oh, my, my cruise control is not working. Oh, hold on. 
cruise control is not set correctly. Key bindings. So that would be flight... Is that flight movement too? Speed limiter. So that one is not right. What is the key binding to activate the cruise control? Cruise control is right there. Okay, let's try it now. Yeah, that's better. And I can control the speed limiter. I can. Okay, let's try the space brake. Space brake is working. Let's try boost. Boost is working. Quattro drive is working. Let's just check if landing gear is working. It is. And closing all doors. Seems to be working. Open all doors. Seems to be working. How about headlamps? They are working. They're not very powerful, but they're there. There we go. How is that dead zone going? Okay, I need I need a little bit. Um, I can't decide if I want to get those Alpha Primes, but I've already spent a lot on VP, uh, VKB equipment. But this is really the only kind of things I spend much money on these days. Was that the message you wanted me to read? Because, I mean... I have not played enough with them to actually be able to make a full... Like, I haven't made up, like, but we just basically make the setup for them right now. Um, so I, I need I need a little bit more time before I know whether it's, they're worth it or not compared to, um, compared to the other ones. I have only played with them for a few hours. Um, one thing I wanted to do was... Is that on the controls? Where do we set our dead zones? Um, flight movement. It's not in here. Controls. Uh, here we go. Dead zone. Flight movement, hold on, give me a second. Straight left, right, throttle forward and back. Is input 3 the Y axis and input 3? Okay, so input 3, Y axis, dead zone. Let's make that like that. So that means now if I go and then just recenter it, I should get pretty close to to no speed, yeah. And then center it again, and it should go back to. Uh, Is 
it's always like one meter a second whenever I go back to center. That's annoying. I need to increase that dead zone even more. There we go. Should we just check our weapons? Weapon seems to work. I'm just doing more tests here. Let's check our secondary fire. Uh, weapons. Guns. Put those over in the other fire group. So now, nothing on the first one. Oh. And we can go into scatter mode. We can adjust the scan angle. Yes, we can adjust the other the ping angle. We can adjust the scan angle. That works too. Out of scanner mode. Check out mining and ground vehicles. Okay. Targeting and unlocking also works. I'm just gonna go in and see if oh we have two targets here. See if gaze based targeting is working. So I'm gonna look at the right one. Target. Left one. Target. And unlock him. Relock him. Yeah, so gaze based targeting is working. Nice. Need to check out ground vehicles, yeah. Um, there should be a ground port in Area 18, isn't there? It'll be a good chance to go and actually... Hold on, my map is not working. Map is not working. Where is map? Um, something, something hot, flight hot. Map. That's low will. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we have a map. Ah, there must be something around here that has a, a place where we can... There's a mining, there's a stupid mining facility here. We can go and uh, take a vehicle out there. It's also a good chance to actually go and check if uh, if our quantum drive is working. What? No hot? Okay.
Ah, I need my control panels. It's odd that there's no, like... There's no hot. They can't see that. Is that a buck? This must be. Yeah, the same when I press B, so it must be a hot. Must be a buck. We're gonna slow ourselves down here. Something's not right, because I just lost throttle control here. Hmm. What is wrong? Is this the server 30k? I have no sideways, basically, like, I mean, this, yeah, I'm being targeted. And he tried to fly into me. Nothing is in chat. So I clearly have roll and your control, but thrusters are dead. I have absolutely no thrust over anything. And I think I'm too high. Yep. No keyboard thrust either. There we go. Now he went hostile. Can I quantum away? Maybe that'll solve it. No, nope. I'm inside the atmosphere. So I can't quantum out. Yeah, I know my boot supply is really weird. It's like it constantly boosting. Oh, there we go. I got control back all of a sudden. Okay. Where are the small pads? They're over there. That was weird. Was it because the space break thought that was that the space break was on? Yeah, it's something with the space break. The space break is stuck on for some reason. Yeah, it must be the space break. Um, input three slicer one. 
or slide of one. Input three. Slide of one. See, there's no dead zone on that. So if you put just like a tiny amount of dead zone on it, that should solve that. No, so this, the slider is not a slider, but it, it's a, it is the brake lever that's on the, the pinky brake lever on it. So it's, it's, it has nothing to do with, it's just called a slider. I don't know why they call the slider. Oh, we gotta get a sunrise pretty soon. Yeah, it's super weird. They call this. I think it's just. I don't know why they call this a slider. Um, I think we can actually rename it if you wanted to. Um, what should we call in? We can choose a hover quad. Dragonfly. I have three dragonflies for some reason. Grey cat rock. Then we can check. Then we can check the mining uh, as well. Okay, Dungle wants the Cyclone. Uh, who's making the Cyclone again? Do I even have the Cyclone? No, I have an Ursa Rover. Don't even have the Cyclone. The closest thing is going to be the Ursa Rover. Let's just do it in the um, in the rock. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Yeah, the cyclone is a fun fun little thing. I like how the light flickers when it pressurizes. what is inverted for some reason. That's odd. Let me just go and fix a few axes here. Ground vehicle, movement, um, Y axis on input three. I actually want to change this axis to this feels more natural for me. So Y axis on input three for the ground vehicles need to be inverted. Oh yeah, height adjust, we need to check that too. Um, but first, input number three, inversion settings, ground vehicle, move forward backwards, is, in, is there, but it should not be, go away. There we go. So that seems to be working. Should we try the mining mode? Mining mode should be there. Mining mode on. Weapon systems locked while in the Artemis zone. Mining mode off.
There we go. Okay, let's try the mining mode again. That seems to work. Extraction mode on. That seems to work as well. Nice, that working. Fracturing mode on. Let's get this thing back and let's because I don't think I I don't think I set the um, I set the height adjust, so we need to go and uh, and set that as well. Oh, whoa, whoa! A little bumpy here. Come on, and a little bit of our time. Perfectly parked. Let's take out the hover quad. Hover quad. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Hover quad. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delayed. Explosions. No, no, there will be no explosions, Uncle. We're not on the dragonfly. There it is. Let's try to get. Welcome. Your All systems um. Let me just go in here and check the hover settings. Uh, ground vehicle movements, I guess. Nope. Where do you set that? Huh. I would have thought it would have been here. Ground vehicles general? High just should just be strafe up down. Oh, maybe. Ground vehicle movement. Forward, backwards, left, right. Boost. But there's no... Toggle break on idle. You're not sure if grab left count. Is it just... Is it really that simple? Oh, it is just the pitch axis that we use to control it. Oh, sorry, the, the, the strafe up down axis.
That seems to work. Let's uh, let's try something a little bit more bold. Let's move this nice close to the surface. Look at that reflection in the surface. Wee! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and that's why you never go to the lowest hover settings. <laughs> that's one way to get air. Yeah, well, it kind of worked. <laughs> kaboom! And here I said just before we got it that there will be no kaboom because we're not on the Drake. The desired explosion, exactly. So sad. Oh, oh, throwing water all over my keyboard. Not keyboard, my my table here. That's no good. Okay. Um. I think that. Let's go and um, and overwrite that key binding T2 EA Star Citizen 0927 safe and now I just need to figure out where on earth they save these key binding files because I need to back that up again um let me see. I think I got something here. Is it in the user binding folder? Robert Space Industries Star Citizen. Yeah, right. And then live server. And then uh, user, client, zero. Controls, mappings, and then we have one that's made 0017 that fits. So that one there is going on to the bindings star citizen going in there. There it is, saved on the server, and tomorrow morning those files will be backed up in the cloud and safe. Forever and ever. Okay, I think with that we actually did manage to make have any clothes here at all. I have an undersuit. That'll have to do. And a helmet. There we go. Very pretty. With that, I actually think that we've gone through the whole setup. The throttle is, the joysticks, everything is now working in both games again. And it only took three and a half hours. Piece of cake. <laughs> What's up, Fungal? I feel like Dunkle is about to write something. <laughs> Yep, maybe. Let me see. Nope. Got a PM from Toby, now that we've been talking about Toby. Uh, okay, that's something we'll look at later. Challenge next anniversary event. Next anniversary event at October 8th. You're only allowed to wear the stuff you can buy at the event hall. No armor or stuff. So like So I'm only allowed to buy the to wear the clothing. But there's no space hel space helmets there, Dungle. <laughs> That's gonna no space helmets gonna make it very difficult, but okay. We can try an, an entire play session with no space helmet. 
that should, I mean, that's doable. I mean, after all the rest stops, they got uh, internal hangers instead of out, outside hangers. It's a lot more easy to move around the game now without ever wearing a spacesuit. Because if you can, you can go into your ship in a pressurized hangar and you land it in another pressurized hangar. It's a little nerve-wracking not being able to eject, but, well, it's, it's space. <laughs> okay, now... I want to wrap it up for today, since we're now way past midnight, and um, and you know what, I think this was not as bad as I thought. I honestly thought when I started this that uh, it would be something where, you know, I would maybe be able to get, maybe get the configuration done or something like that, but it, it went really smoothly. Also with the setup, I mean, setting up for two games and configuring and calibrating, and we even did all the little lighting. The lighting things that you saw before when, when the lights turns red and stuff like that. Super cool. Um, and you'll have to be careful on one planet you land on. Yeah, true. That's that's right, Calvin. Because some planets we can't. But I'm going to call it for today. Just remember there's still the, the discount code, which is binding for days in one word. So if you go to d2store.com, you can get yourself either maybe some other... Brand new stuff that we've added very recently. There are also some nice big desk mats that's been added. Cool t-shirt hoodies. Not of hoodies, that's not on there yet. But t-shirts at least um, is on there. Tons of different mocks. Um, please go and check it out. Also, two other things. Um, as I talked about, with my new Verbal things, I have a lot of Verbal equipment in spare. And when the channel hits 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away not one, but two complete Verpal flight setups. That's going to be one HOTAS, and that's going to be one HOSAS. So if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe button is below. Go tell your friends, go tell your dog, whoever has a YouTube account, they should go and uh, they should go subscribe so we can get there as fast as possible. And finally, there's actually another milestone coming up here in the not-too-distant future. I'm just going to quickly check where we are at with that. And that is the milestone where I'm going to hit 1,042 referrals. Now, why is that important? Because when I hit 1,042 referrals, I'm going to get access to the Million Mile High Club in Star Citizen, which is like an exclusive area. There is less than 100 players in the game that has access to that area. Um, yes, we are very close. Uh, and when I get access to it, I can bring you guys in as well. I can open the door and everybody can go in. So that would be really cool. So if you haven't created the Star Citizen account, if you're interested in it, I do have an, a, a referral link. It's Star Citizen, or getstarcitizen.d2ea.com. Link is in the description. If you use that when you sign up for an account, then um, I get a referral point. I'm not getting paid for it, but uh, but I do get referral points, so I get these like kind of cool things in game, and you also get some extra stuff, extra starting equipment, extra more starting money on uh, on your account. Um, let's just check it here. Currently, I am at 1,027 referrals, so that means we are 15. I'm 15 referrals away from getting into the Million Mile High Club. Um, John says, honored to be one of those referrals. I am very happy that you are. So, um, at this pace, in a few weeks, depending on how fast it goes, maybe in a month's time, probably in a few weeks, um, there's a good chance that we're going to have a party at the Million Mile High Club. And I'll be telling you a lot more about that on Discord. So, you can go to discord.djway.com and find it there. Um... Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks all for watching. Something different. I thought it was fun. Really happy to get these new sticks up and running. Um, there will be full-on reviews out of both of the Constellation uh, Alpha Prime, but also of the new base that you've seen me set up today with the new CM3 base that, they, uh, that they're making now. All of that will be coming to the channel in the future, so do go check that out. I'm going to take down the stream. I'm going to be hanging out over on Discord um, for a while after the stream here. So if you want to come and say hi, then you know where to find me. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. I'll see you guys in space.